Hi, I'm Everett. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, this is part two of the tool build for my buddy there who's got the old International Combine, uh, the D436 engine in it, and um, we're, uh, we've already made the injector tools for removing and installing the injectors uh, and the slide hammer bits. Uh, now what we're going to do is move on to making the parts required for removing and installing the injector cups that are stuck in the head. So, hope you find it interesting. Okay, and this piece of bar is back. We're going to peel off a little more and now make a uh, sleeve extractor tool. I want it just a few thou under 750, and we are 740, 747, good. Just what I wanted. Because that part needs to be threaded yet. Now, using the die or the uh, drill chuck on the back side helps to keep the die straight as it starts. Even if the handle looks crooked, the die has to be at least somewhat square. Yes, I could single point thread this, but I'm actually feeling kind of lazy tonight. Besides, we only need a few threads. From what I gather, it's not really a super high stress situation as far as uh, what the thread needs to do. I mean, the little the little uh, sleeves are actually made of copper or brass or something. I really don't know what this stuff is made out of, what these torque arms are made out of, but it is nice material to work with. <laughs> Just, there we go. Just clears. I like that. Like I say, I could have single point threaded it, but for a thread that short that I needed, I didn't think it was didn't think it was completely necessary.
Actually, that one looks better than the last one. I'll take it. Good enough. I'll call that acceptable. And yet again, don't trust the parting. Be right back. Thankfully, there is no chance of breaking off a parting bit with the bandsaw. Now I'm just going to go snug so it doesn't mess up the threads too much because we've also got getting onto the straight shank there. And not that one, not that one. The tool I just had in my hand, that one. that bad. There's the bottom of the hole. Third time's a charm for trying to start a power tap. You know, I'm not having the greatest of success with trying to power tap. Obviously I'm doing something wrong. That's fine. It's straight. It started straight. That's what I needed. But before I mess up my threads or anything, I think I'm going to go over to the vise where I have soft jaws. I'll clamp down really tightly and I'll finish this off in the vise. So yeah, just went over to the bench and uh, finished tapping out that hole. Uh, so our sleeve remover tool is now done. He'll need a three quarter inch tap to thread the little sleeves to be able to pop them out with the, with the slide hammer. Now the final tool to make is going to be the uh, installer tool for the sleeve that goes around the injector here. Now from what we've been reading on the forums and hearing from a number of different people and even just looking at what's commercially available, it pretty much looks like the body of this injector uh, minus this rubber O-ring here, uh, you know, basically that would be the size we'd need to uh, tap the new, uh, the new uh, sleeves in. So that's gonna be the last piece we're gonna get out of this chunk for tonight. Now I do understand there will be a little bit of stick out on this, but that's sometimes unavoidable. I suppose I could spot drill the end and give it some support, but the dimensions on this are not what you'd call super, super critical. I know it doesn't catch 100%, but it slows it down anyway. All right, so we're going to have to support this end because we have a chatter fest happening. I'm going to clean up here and then we'll carry on. Well, the need is uh, very apparent of some support on this end. So we'll center drill it and support it. I mean, that little center drilled portion is going to have to disappear 
because we have to have a little nubby on the front, but we'll deal with that when we get there. We need to take, well, basically a nice long section down to the diameter of this uh, injector, which is, yeah, so 660 thousandths. Yep, 677. So now let's take another 18 thousandths. So a couple thousandths under, it's no big deal. Reasonable surface finish, 658, good. A couple thousandths under is fine, just fine. So I'm just going to take this journal down a little bit smaller. I'm going to manually feed it. Now this diameter here is just arbitrary. Uh, I just want to make a nice little head for him to be able to strike upon. So back to the bandsaw. Went to the bandsaw, cut it off over here. Now we're just going to face it to length and clean up the end. So that gives a reasonably decent little head to, you know, to hit with the hammer or your mallet to tap it in. There. Now on this end, all we need to do is all we need to do is take the spot where we center drilled out and then make the end of this look like the end of this. Yeah, 355 thousandths. Otherwise, well, basically nine millimeters. And then our length, well, it doesn't even have to be all that length. We'll go f see. 16 millimeters or 5 eighths. There we go. So now we're going to set our dial indicator here. And the ways to 1 inch uh, 65. Even then, that's not super, super critical.
that. Pretty much that. So yeah, I would say that uh, that pretty much looks like that, but a little bit longer and uh, a spot upon which to smack. So we're done. Well, I'm happy with that. Got a few tools made up for Ryan. Got uh, the uh, injector removal tool to go onto the half inch threaded ready rod here. So, I mean, the end of the ready rod needs a little bit of help, but it will thread in. Um, we have the little stop block against which the hammer slide can hit. We have the injector cup removal tool. You need a, again, you need a three quarter inch tap to use that. And we have the injector cup install tool. All made out of a piece of uh, old highway, well, old piece of highway tractor. It's a, you know, rear torque arm. So, price is right. And yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give this to my buddy tomorrow. He wants to go play it in the weekend and working on his uh, combine and his grain truck. So, at least he can now get, get to work doing what he wants to do. Anyway, uh, for what it's worth, hope you found it interesting. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, I appreciate y'all who are going to come by. Uh, again, I'm just having fun out here doing what I normally do. And I'm glad some of you find it interesting too. Um, again, I have to be careful because I have to balance family and work and my hobbies. And lately, family and work have been needing a bit more time. So thanks for your patience. See you next time.